Hi everyone, Scott Smith, Rusnak BMW in Southern California. Check out the new generation 750 Xi sedan, the flagship of BMW. Check out the mineral white metallic and this car has been upgraded with the 20 inch wheels. Got a lot of stuff to cover today. So first off, let's start out from the front of the car here, show you the whole new design. Check out those kidney grills. They're called active kidney grills. So they do have slots that'll come out. Also block uh, air inflow and less needed for cooling systems, but it helps with coefficient of drag and efficiency, especially at the higher speeds. Check out the custom rear bumper with the new generation. Also those signature running daylights and you've got the active LEDs with this. This is the 750, so this is the twin turbo V8, 445 in horsepower. 480 in torque horsepower you're going to get at 5500 rpms uh, 480 you're going to get at 1800 this thing is 0 to 60 4.3 seconds half a second faster than the previous generation um, or excuse me that's with the two-wheel drive version i think now the all-wheel drive might be a tad bit faster than the 48 but definitely very quick we're going to go to the back and do a little rev time with trish <laughs> it is a little quiet, isn't it? It's one thing about being the ultimate luxury, luxury machine, so. <laughs> Wait till you get in the cabin and we rev it up. You can't even hear it. There's so much insulation. So we're going to go underneath. Let me show you underneath the hood. There it is, guys. 4.4 twin turbo V8. Now the car weighs about 40, just over 4,600 pounds. Um, what was kind of cool with this model is it lost about 400 pounds worth of weight when they went with the carbon core interior. And then they put back in about 200 pounds worth of cool stuff. So definitely it's 190 pounds less than the previous generation. And the carbon core, uh, different parts of the interior structure have been replaced with the carbon fiber, which is about 50% lighter than um, steel. So, and I think it's about 30% lighter than aluminum. So, uh, definitely some nice innovation that BMW has done in this flagship. All right. Trish, how you doing? Good. <laughs> awesome. Let's go to the back. We'll show them the trunk space. Alrighty, so we're going to show you guys the trunk. Hopefully you're enjoying the 7 Series so far. We have a lot to go over today, so hopefully you're excited. Cool. All right, guys, check out this trunk. Just as big, or I think even bigger than our previous generation. As you can see, there's a little pass-through there for you. Also, we do have the rear luxury seating package with this vehicle. So we've also got the extra padding that you can have for your headrest in the back. In case you're on a long trip, you want to take a little uh, siesta. Also, we do have our cartridges. This is, um, I was trying to remember, Trish, this is for our, um, our what is this for? This is our... Um, which package is called the ambient air package. Yeah, yeah. So you have different options for the fragrance that your car will have So you can see there and we have what there's eight. I think different uh, Gosh, what should I Scents. say Scents yes. that we have and you can mm -hmm. actually run two of them at the same time Looks like it's taped up and sealed so that's one that's kind of cool guys that we have something like this Especially with two different scents that you can uh, do a combination with Let's put that back also, this car was equipped with the um, LED key, something pretty cool that BMW has done and no one else yet. Okay, Trish, let's go ahead and have you jump in the driver's seat. I'll go over to the passenger. All right, guys, check out that interior. Actually, at training, they said the new 7 Series is closer to the Bentley than the previous generation. So we've really done a lot of great things with this car. Okay, so what we're going to do, Trish, let's go over a little bit with the new iDrive system. Okay, so this is the uh, 5.0 iDrive. So let's go ahead and um, start with the, let's go to the main menu. Um, so you can use your touchpad just like in the previous model, but um, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the touch screen here. Mm -hmm. So you can go into my vehicle. Um, and what's really great is they've updated this here. So say you click on vehicle settings, um, lighting doors okay so what they've done here is they've showed you a little um, let's 
see preview yeah, yeah. so a preview over there on the right hand side uh, so when you go ahead and click tailgate um, oh wait, it gives you back. the picture which is great too yeah so um what they're doing over here is they're showing you any option that would be to the right um, that's in that menu exactly, huh? exactly. okay mm -hmm. yeah because I know our previous one guys you actually had to go into that menu to see what was there so I thought what was really neat with this new system is making it quicker and faster and easier to use is that you basically get a preview from that menu over here so you don't actually have to go into that section to see what's in there like we had to do a lot of times in our previous um, you know 4.2 version and then also having this touch screen has been really nice too because then you know as, as some of you have known with touch screen obviously with tablets and everything else and our smartphones it's quick and fast and you can get to a lot of places very quickly um, not to say that the actual touchpad controller isn't quick after you get the hang of it which is you know very simple um, with this generation that we have now um, and even the previous couple generations were really really simple to use you just needed about five minutes of you know tutorage to, to show how to do it so now here you can see now what's neat is when you come up to the screen you can see there's easy touch for each of the sections here um, let's go into the nav system real quick so you can push that and we'll go to the map you can see they're very detailed guys very nice you get the advanced real-time traffic you can see you can even just zoom in with your fingers which is nice instead of using the controller so it's been really really nice with the new hardware and software extremely fast system um, let's move over to the dash Trish let's do that okay so right now guys I'll move this forward and Trish if we can push the different buttons for sport and comfort and so you guys will see them changing right down there mm -hmm. and you can see Eco right Pro, so it changes the colors. Um, let's go ahead and give and it a red. Comfort, yeah. Let's go to comfort. Uh, that's sports Sp comfort in the middle. There we go. There we go. And then we even have an adaptive drive, guys. So Trish, this button right there, if you push that one, you'll see down there. We'll go back to comfort. Let's do that. And then you'll see, as I say, adaptive yep. down there by P. So what that does, guys, it will adapt to your type of driving style. So um, that way, if you drive a lot, I would say put it in the adaptive, and it's going to learn, and it's going to adjust to your type of driving. All right, let's go over this steering wheel. A lot of people have got some great comments about it. All righty. So um, you can see all of the nice brushed aluminum here on the steering wheel. They've really, really updated this. So it's very different, very nice, luxurious. Um, you still have your heads up control with uh, this one here. So you oh, can so um, maybe front. see it right Yeah, it's flickering there. a little bit, huh? Yes. And it does not actually flash like that in real life. Um, <laughs> for some reason on the camera, it does that. Um, but then you have your um, volume control here for your phone calls and uh, radio. Uh, microphone for your uh, vo voice commands, answering and hanging up your telephone calls. And then over there, I know we have, guys, we have different settings for the advanced systems, like the active cruise control, setting the distance there. Um, you know, Obviously, your standard dynamic cruise control systems are all, also there, too. Um, one thing I thought, Trish, let's go over the new air conditioning screen, too, which is touch screen. Okay, so um, this is going to be for the right side of the vehicle, and this is for um, the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, here's your fan speed here, and they've actually just made it a touch screen, so it's very nice. Here's your seat warmers here, and you can see the different levels. Uh, this vehicle also has seat coolers, which is nice for the summertime. I know here in SoCal, it, it's um, a necessity. Yeah. So, um, and then again, for your right-hand side here. And if you move up here to the top, this is going to be your temp temperature controls. Um, and I also wanted to show the viewers that you can see here when you go ahead and... Oh, let me go ahead and yeah, do that again. Sure. When you control your temperature, you can see on the right, I've uh, made it a little warmer. And you can see the color changing. So just a really neat feature that they've added. All the details in this car just over and above. Um, nice. And right here, guys, this is for NFC. So your cell phone and stuff, you can get a Bluetooth very quickly. You have those features. You know, a lot of the new phones will have it. So you can set your phone up here. Car will find it, set it nice and quick for Bluetooth. And then also with this one, Trish, if we go ahead and push that, 
This brings up, guys, configure individual settings for the advanced settings that you have here. So check this out. So Trish, what's all that stuff we've got there? All right, so this is your frontal collision warning. Um, the car will give you a notification if you're getting too close to a vehicle in front of you. Um, it will throw in a brake intervention. It will not stop the car completely, but um, you know it will lessen an impact just in case. Hopefully that never happens. Um, but just another uh, safety feature BMW keeps on their cars. Um, blind spot detection, I mean that one's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you'll see a little uh, signal notification on your mirrors as well as in your heads-up display. Um, steering intervention. Very nice, yeah, the new features they have out so that can even help avoid things, which is nice. Um, in case, you know, God forbid you're really not paying attention. Also, one thing, Trish, we want to mention too, with the active cruise control feature on these cars too, guys, because um, I do experience it on my car now, which is that bottom button there, you can set the distance behind a car for like the freeway, and having that system active, it will bring the car to a complete stop. So this car is equipped with that active cruise control system, so I've been able to experience some lucky enough to drive a 7 now and it's a pretty amazing system it's nice even when I know where I'm going I can just set up the address know I'm going there and then just you know obviously if something happens I know the car will come to a complete stop but what's nice with that button is that you can set up the distance from the car which is nice so in case you know I know with our California driving you know you've got you know a space in front of you more than a car length somebody's gonna jump in front of you so at least with this system you can be a little closer car still has enough time to slow you down um, or if you want to kick really far back from that car in front of you you can definitely definitely do that um, one thing that's nice too guys is we've noticed as you can see a lot of aluminum a lot of a, a silver metal trim really nice styling with the car which we didn't have as much in the past also look at all the trim that they have around and with the wood so what we'll do now yeah let's show in there Trish because now we've got more space than what we've had in the past and oh guys check it out we got wireless charging for some of the newer um, smartphones and also for your LED key if you go with that feature. So throw it in there on a long trip, 20 minute trip and get some charge. You got your USB here which deals a lot with the entertainment system if you need to. Now we obviously we have a lot of wireless going on now. So but this one up here is going to be a charger for you guys that USB there. Cool. I'm trying to think if there was any Oh Trish, what about the camera? Try that one there. Yeah. You can see, guys, that's our front front view, which is really neat, which is nice. So when you're sticking out in an alleyway and you can't see down the street, you can turn this on. It'll look down the street. Also, you get warnings on the side of the street, uh, side of the screen here also, um, in case they, it senses any movement, it'll let you know. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's do this, Trish. Let's go ahead and switch spots and we'll pull it back underneath the shade right. so we can show them some of the cool lighting. So let's do that, guys. Come on over. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, one thing to show, too. Look at the nice speakers in the back. So, yeah, this is the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. We'll show you some more inside, but nice, amazing sound system that BMW's gone with now, so. All right, let me hand it over to Trish. So Scott's going to go ahead and get us underneath the covered area of our third floor. So let me show you the backup camera. I know the sun is a little blinding, um, but so each of those green lines that you're seeing, um, that's showing you exactly where your tires are going to go. So if you see that hitting a car, then you're going to eventually hit a car. So um, it's very, very helpful. Um, <laughs> The sound that you're hearing is the park distance control warning, so um, you can lower the volume on that if you choose. So, um, and this lighting in here is gonna give the viewers, all of you guys, just a better um, idea of how great the lighting is in this. Yeah, so check that out. And then what I'll do is I'll go into the settings right now where we can kinda change some of the vehicle's interior. Let's do that. Lighting. Let's go into the interior. So now here, guys, you can pick different colors if you want. Also, the color of the speaker. So check that out, Trish, if you put the camera down in there. So really cool, guys. 
can really have some great lighting in here. And then the colors. So I can just hit on color real quick. Let's say we go over to a to a blue. So check That's that awesome. out while we know. So um, the color options, you have purple, green, um, you have blue with a white highlight. Um, mm -hmm. All of them are up here. This is one of my favorite features, just um, mm -hmm. being a girl, of course, we love colors. Dial it in. Yeah, let me try to get this clear for you guys. Okay. So what we'll do now, let's see, I'm going to go put that on the blue, just because it's my favorite color. Let's see. Put on the blue there. So you can see. One thing to mention too about the heads up display, guys, is it has gotten 75% larger. So it's really nice with that heads up display up here. A lot of information and um, it's a lot larger. Really nice design, a lot more quality looking uh, items up there. So one thing to mention, which was really neat when we were at training playing around with the car. All right, Trish, let's go to the back seat. Let's do that. We'll show the guys some of the cool stuff with the luxury seating package. Okay, cool. All right, guys and ladies. I'm gonna show them the sticker really quick, Trish, and I'll be right in there. Let's see if we can get this baby to focus. There we go, guys. So I'll just go down the list here. You guys can pause it whenever you want to check it out. Show you that uh, miles per gallon feature too in just a second. Seven inch touch com touch command uh, tablet with that rear seating, rear executive seating. Also, you can see your gas mileage there, and then you can see final assembly. All right, let me just show you the rear lights really quick. So they are definitely a sweet looking rear light system here. Man, they've done such a nice job with the styling of this car. Okay, so let's go on and get inside with Trish. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Lots of space back here, as you can see, guys. And let's just look at some more styling across the doors. But I think with the with the technology these days, everybody's just like, oh. You know, how much can we have in the car, huh, Trish? Yes. So, guys, what we're going to do is this car is equipped with the rear executive seating package. So, what we're going to do is, Trish, go ahead and pop out the tablet. All right. So, um, this is the uh, Galaxy uh, Android operating system tablet. Um, you can control it from the comfort of your seat with it plugged in here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and pop it out so that we can uh, control it just handheld. So, um, we'll go ahead and press this yeah, button here. And you'll see it will... Um, so yeah, activates oh. <laughs> mechanically. It'll actually just pop it up for you so you can easily pull it out. It's very simple. Um, so let's uh, scroll over here. Um, we're gonna start with the interior lighting. So you go ahead and click on here and it gives you options for everything. Um, you can see the entire interior of the vehicle, choose from the color options that Scott and I were covering previously. Um, and then you'll notice here on the window, you do have a light. So we'll go ahead mm -hmm. and show them that. Yeah, so you can adjust the intensity of that, which is really nice. So I will scroll over to this one here. You can see the light there. You can control the brightness of it here. Mm -hmm. So notice um, it shows you interactively exactly what's happening. Um, here's your speakers. So it's cool you can do the lighting inside the speakers, which is great. Yes. Um, so let's go back and um, let's show you guys the sun protection. So it gives you a view of the entire interior once again. Um, and you can see the different spots of orange shows you exactly where the sun shades will come up or go down. Um, so let's close all, and this is really awesome. So let's go ahead and click here. So you can see on the screen they're moving, guys. And then you can see here, which is nice. This will be darker actually for the interior so we can show a little bit more. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> so, um, and of course you can choose individually um, if you want just the back uh, sunscreen to be up or down, um, etc. So we just wanted to show you guys how awesome it is to close them are all at once. So back to the home screen, um, we've gone over sun protection. Let's go ahead and um, go to the seat. So right now, currently, I'm enjoying a luxurious massage on my back. You can see that um, right here. It shows you all four seats. 
So um, we can even control Scott's seat from here. So we'll go ahead and click on Scott's seat and um, you know, I'll go ahead and go the massaging. So here's your massage. And look at oh, all the yeah, and all the exercise and different mm -hmm. things you can do. Go ahead and scroll up and down so you can see the massaging there, guys. Activation. So let's go ahead and do um, back massage, and you turn it up here depending there's... on the intensity that you wish to have. Okay. And you can see exactly what's happening. Oh yeah, it's already starting to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely feel it. And if you scroll down towards the bottom of that list. You'll see, guys, there's just a lot of different cool settings, even whole body. So you can do the whole thing if you want. So if you want even lower massage. So I know some of our seats in the past were only in certain areas, but as you can see there from the picture, there's a lot these seats can do now. All right. So there's, of course, more options under the seat items. So um, you can read about those anywhere online, really. Um, we just want to cover the basics with you guys. Um, so those are seats. Of course, you can control your climate. So these are your climate functions. Um, you have your temperature, of course, the direction of airflow, um, everything right here in your hand. And then also, you know, you can do it here from the back seat, guys. Um, also, you do have your seat controls down here right on the other side. What's nice about this car is this armrest can pull up so that you can have seating four or five. So I know we even have a level above this called the executive lounge, but that will eliminate that fifth seat belt, guys. So that's the only thing you have to worry about there is if you do need five seat belts, consider which package you're going to go with in the back. Okay. And then also you do have some of your settings here, guys, even for your massaging, you can turn on quick right there. Also, you can see there's even memory that you have. So, and you have that on all four exterior on the outside seat so obviously not the center but yeah so you have that so if you have a quick setting that's nice to have what All else right. we got Trish so um you have your media radio controls here oh cool so you click on there and you can scroll through all of your Sirius stations yeah. cool so these are your satellite stations of course you can listen to AM FM um, and it will pull up the radio stations that come in in the area that you're driving through Very so cool. there's your FM can see and then it'll pull up the station, scroll up and down. So that's really nice. Yeah. That's um, all from the back seat. And then we'll go back to the home button. Um, we have your driving information. So check this out. See a little car, vroom vroom. <laughs> and it's going to show you all of your onboard information right here in the back seat. And then also a little directional, which is kind of cool. Yep. So very nice. We'll go back to home and of course your settings and for some reason this happens to be my favorite option for the car because you can control pretty much anything um, so you have your brightness of your display and uh, this is the uh, display of your tablet here mm -hmm. so that way you can dial it in just the way you like it customize it to your liking so go back um, let's go into apps. Now we have not set this up on this one, but what that's going to do, it's going to switch this over to the Android platform um, and you can have all your compatible apps that you're used to having on your smartphone. Cool. And these cars are um, hotspot uh, is included now with these guys. And I think I, if I'm correct with the information from training is that you'll get three months um, or three gigs. Um, as a promotional start and then after that I think you can continue a contract with AT&T yeah. so at least you can hook up to some of your apps so one thing we wanted to show you here too guys when you're putting the tablet back in set it in and it'll just do it itself so no tricky stuff to do easy to take in and out so it's something you don't have to worry about especially with the connection for charging and things like that we didn't want you to have to worry about that so and there's a little bit extra storage for you there so very cool and then also the design on these seats you know the one thing that's BMW has really done is really upgraded the design and the leather the Napa leather is standard with the 50s the 750s really nice plush leather a lot more wood in the vehicle um, and then you'll see with this this does have the interior design um, package so you've got some really nice wood trim your Alcantara headliner, obviously, you've got the mirrors, so really nice setup, guys. As you can see, there's lights here, and we've got nice wood trim. So the aviance of this cabin is just amazing compared to our previous model, which was a wonderful car. But man, with the lighting, the technology, and the materials that they use now, really, really nice.
And then we have the uh, seat controls oh, here yeah. as well. So we don't mm -hmm. want to forget that. You can control your seat settings from here. Um, so Definitely. I guess we can show the seat going up here. Um, mm -hmm. So you can see, you can adjust it just as if you were in the front seat. Um, so we can move it back, forward. Of course, I still have the massage going. Um, oh, and you can extend it out too, Trish, too. So where your legs are, that'll actually, so you can have a little bit more support underneath the legs. So that's nice. And then remember, these also come with an extra padding pillow that I have in the trunk right now for these. So you can really take a nice nap <laughs> if you need to. And then let's go ahead and open up all the shutters and everything, Trish. So okay. let's go back. So sun protection. And, and open let's everything open up. Open everything. Cool. So there we go, guys. And you can see some of the lighting up here, guys, because this one does have the LED sky, uh, sky roof, the uh, moon roofs that we have here, the dual, and it's got over 15,000 etchings in the glass. So obviously at night, it's gonna be a lot more beautiful because of the different lighting you can set up, but really cool aviance, and so it'll match all the lighting around the car. So something pretty neat with BMW, going the extra mile with the uh, panoramic or the dual moon roof uh, standard options that you have on the BMW cool guys if you like the video please share it definitely you know head over to the about section if you guys are looking for a car shoot me an email definitely would love to earn your business also everybody hey say thanks for Trish coming by bye guys have a great weekend <laughs> you guys have a good one bye bye